Okay. Um, this is the DSC V2, and the reason that this is a uh, version V2 is this is a velocity controlled board. We're going to do an install today, and this is going to be installed in a 2015 GT3. Nine, nine, all 2013 and up uh, 911 cars all have the PASM controller located in the back shelf. And that's this section back here. So whether it's a um, C2, C4, GT3, it's always going to be located in this area. This is where the ECU is behind this carpet set. And we're going to show you that in just one second. But I just wanted to real quick go into some of the attributes of the V2 controller. This V2 controller is different than the V1 in that it does have on 13 and up models, it has four ride height sensors. These four ride height sensors allow you, and I'm going to bring up a file right now, in, uh, this is out of my GT3 and GT4, and this is what we're currently using from the racetrack. But you'll see that the setting that's really interesting, that is totally unique to V2, is a driveline control. And what driveline control allows you to do is to literally tune the magnetic uh, engine suspension damper. Uh, this is an absolute first. Uh, nobody has ever done this. Uh, the factory comes with in the GT3s and most of the new 911 models and also even the mid-engine cars. We'll go into those later in another install. But uh, they have a magnetic fluid and literally the damper will go from full soft to full hard in a matter of a millisecond. Um, it's almost instantaneous in response. But one thing that we're able to do is we can, like just like you would put a solid mount on for a race car, we can get this to be a solid mount when we want it. So you can see that we have a left shot, left motor mount and a right motor mount in the normal mode, the non-sport. And then we have both the left and the right in the sporting mode. And these have two different, completely different calibration tables. And it just depends on how early the motor mount will start to lock up. And what this really changes is, if you've ever driven the car, it changes the way the engine suspends and causes like an early entry oversteer into a corner. It can cause it in transitions when you go from right to left. In the factory car, the problem that we have, and we've logged them, is the center of the G table in the factory car is full soft. So when you're making a transition from right to left, you've always got to go through the hole in the middle and the engine will get moving again. The whole engine is going to rock in there. Ours does not. The G table is completely filled with values. And the way that we get the car to ride so nice and to do everything and to have this other behavior is because we have the ability to control the size of a, um, we call it our, our G patch. And it allows us to, to have an area that we can move around for drivability and for ride. And then as soon as you go beyond a certain requested value, whether it's load, rate of change, you come out of that and go into the main G table. So it's a really cool feature that allows you to have a complete race car uh, um, drivability in that it will do the same thing as the race car, but when you're not requesting much out of the chassis, it works the same as a standard uh, road car. So it's, it's quite amazing. And then, of course, V2 also has the version of V1, where if you have V1 and you have the software, you'll notice we have velocity control. And this will allow you, both in rebound and compression, to tune the damper in how many inch per second the piston rod's moving. You can literally change these values. Um, these are all zeroed in this particular file because I've done everything really based on the G table. Um, and this is the G table for, let's say, my normal settings. And you can see some of these values are different than others. Like if I'm loaded up in a corner, I might want, in a, when I'm going making a right-hand turn, the right front uh, damper has a different value than the left front damper, and the rear tires have a different value. So they're always different depending on where you are in the G table, and we created this based on data. So let's fast forward. Let's go into the install. I know that's why everybody's here. So here's what we got. I've already loaded the file into this GT3, and we're ready to do an install. So join me. First thing I'm going to do for the install is I'm just going to carefully uh, lift up the carpet set. And you can see how easy it is. There's literally no tools required. The, um, the, uh, there's no tools required. You can see that all of the, 
you can see that all of the ECUs and the fuse panels are all just suspended in foam. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the factory HASM computer, which is this device right here. So kind of follow me in here, Jordan. It's not a very high-tech uh, removal. First, we'll slide these tabs over. You can see once you do, they'll unlock. And the same with this guy right here. You just kind of pull that. It's sometimes a matter of finding the right angle. And we have that removed. This is the factory box. You can see it's just a stamped uh, tin box. Top and bottom, they pinch it over. It's not weather tight, anything like that, because it's inside the cockpit of the car. But um, you'll notice that the DSC is a complete replacement for that. So this box right here had no active control whatsoever. It only had a normal and a sport setting. They were so close to each other, that's why when you're pushing the button, you can't tell there's really any change. With the DSC, it's completely active. You get all of the features that you can tune. Uh, my base files, you'll find that since we go to the track almost every weekend, they're pretty much spot on, as plenty of people can attest. And the install is pretty much this simple. Just a matter of snapping those dudes in there. And I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to drop it in. And uh, I'd like to say it's more complicated than that, but uh, hey, folks, that's like your DSC install on a GT3, same as C2C4. We'll put the carpet set back in real nice and neatly. Back in. That's it. DSC install. Box was already programmed, came that way, it's already tested. Uh, we have a bench tester, and um, this file is just perfected. I've spent almost a year on the track right now with this 2014 through 15 automobile. That's it.